Itek 4, popularly known as the Doom 3 engine, is a game engine developed by id Software and first used in the video game Doom 3. The engine was designed by John Carmack. Carmack also created previous engines, such as those for Doom and Quake, which are widely recognized as significant advances in the field. This OpenGL-based game engine has also been used in Quake 4, Prey, Enemy Territory, Quake Wars, Wolfenstein and Brink. History, IT Tech 4 began as an enhancement to IT Tech 3. During development, it was initially just a complete rewrite of the engine's renderer, while still retaining other subsystems, such as file access, and memory management. The decision to switch from C to the C++ programming language necessitated a restructuring and rewrite of the rest of the engine. Today, while IT Tech 4 contains code from IT Tech 3, much of it has been rewritten. At the QuakeCon 2007, John Carmack, the lead graphics engine developer at ID, said to Linux Games, I mean, I won't commit to a date, but the Doom 3 stuff will be open source. And like its predecessors, John Carmack has said that IT Tech 4 will be released as open source. At the QuakeCon 2009, Carmack said that he planned to petition ZeniMax Media to release the IT Tech 4 source upon the release of Rage. As part of his keynote for QuakeCon 2011 he confirmed that the source code to Doom 3 will be out by the end of the year, after the release of Rage. On November 16, 2011, Carmack announced on Twitter that he's writing new code for Doom 3's open source release, because lawyers are still skittish about the patent issue around Carmack's reverse. This refers to an implementation of stencil buffered shadow volume algorithms. On November 22, 2011, Carmack released the Doom 3 source code on GitHub. The source does not include any of the Carmack's reverse code. According to Carmack, minor tweaks were made to the code to avoid any infringement. Equals hardware equals, the original requirement of IDTech 4 was that it needed a high-end graphics processing unit with fully programmable vertex and pixel shaders, such as the NVIDIA GeForce 3 or ATI Radeon 8500 with at least 64 megabytes of VRAM. By E3 2002, the recommended GPU was 100% DirectX 9.0B compatible, such as the Radeon 9700 with 128 megabytes of VRAM. While the Radeon 9700's DirectX 9.0 features are not necessary to render the game, its advanced architecture, 256-bit memory bus, and efficiency were needed to run Doom 3 at high detail and playable speed. The Ultra Graphics mode included in Doom 3 would not even run on the current popular graphics cards available in 2004, requiring at least 512 megabytes of video memory to display properly and at playable speeds, meaning that it was basically unusable at the time of release. It Tech 4 resulted in the obsolescence of DirectX 7 graphics chips such as the widespread GE Force 2 and Radeon 7200, as well as older chipsets such as Arrive AT NT2 and Rage 128, and software rendering. Until the advent of It Tech 4, a powerful CPU was able to somewhat compensate for an older video card. While John Carmack initially warned gamers not to purchase the GE Force 4 MX, its somewhat widespread adoption compelled its software to add it to the list of supported cards. There have been cases of enthusiasts forcing Doom 3 to run on unsupported graphics chips, such as the long obsolete Voodoo 2, but these are unable to render the per-pixel lighting and bump mapping. Features equals Graphics equals, IT Tech 4 added several new graphical features absent in its predecessor, IT Tech 3. These included bump mapping, normal mapping, and specular highlighting. More features were added in the development of successive games, and in yet unreleased games using a Tech 4, new features have been added or are planned to be added soon. The primary innovation of a Tech 4 was its use of entirely dynamic per pixel lighting, whereas previously, 3D engines had relied primarily on pre calculated per vertex lighting or light maps and gore or shading. While dynamic effects had been available before, this effect merely changed the brightness of the vertices of the polygon, with the pixel's colors simply being interpolated between the three vertex colors of its polygon. This fully real-time approach used in Doom 3, 
combined with the use of shadow volumes permitted more realistic lighting and shadows than in the previous generation of its engines. The method used to create the shadow volumes is the subject of a patent by Creative, which Creative granted it permission to use in the Doom 3 engine, in exchange for supporting Creative's EAX advanced sound technologies. The models used in a Tech 4 engine games are animated using skeletal animation. The engine can blend multiple animations together, to produce a skin that moves correctly for those animations. Because this is CPU intensive, it did some work optimizing this by using Intel's streaming SIMD extensions. Equals Mega Texture Rendering Technology equals. The original version of the ATEC 4 engine was designed for somewhat dark environments so it was criticized for its perceived inability to handle extremely large daytime outdoor areas. The Mega Texture technology not only removed this issue by introducing a means to create expansive outdoor scenes but also made the new version as the best game engine to handle the outdoor areas, as well. By painting a single massive texture covering the entire polygon map and highly detailed terrain, the desired effects can be achieved. The Mega Texture can also store physical information about the terrain such as the amount of traction in certain areas or indicate what sound effect should be played when walking over specific parts of the map that is walking on rock will sound different from walking on grass. It is expected that this will result in a considerably more detailed scene than the majority of existing technologies, using tiled textures, allow. The first game utilizing Mega Texture is Enemy Territory, Quake Wars, based on the Tech 4 engine. All the Tech 5 games use Mega Texture. Equals rendering techniques used in a Tech 4 equals, unified lighting and shadowing, shadow volume, Mega Texture. Equals scripting equals, it Tech 4 has a comprehensive scripting language which can be used when creating mods, and is used in Doom 3 to control monsters, weapons, and map events. This scripting language is similar to C++. In addition to the main scripting language, it Tech 4 also has another scripting language that is used for GUIs, both the menus and HUD, and also for GUIs embedded into the game world. These in-game GUIs are sufficiently powerful that you can, for example, run another game such as Doom 1 within the game world. Despite this additional level of scripting, it is also possible to create mods using C++ to build native code. Equals sound equals, as a result of the agreement with Creative regarding the patent on shadow volumes, the ATEC 4 engine supports OpenAL, including the Creative Technology-specific EAX extensions. The work to include OpenAL support was done by Creative Technology, not by it themselves. Equals networking equals, the engine uses a traditional client-to-euro server model. Initially it was planned to have a peer-to-peer -peer networking model. This part of the engine works in a fundamentally similar way to the ATEC 3 equivalent, however ATEC 4 exposes a lot more of the network protocol to mod developers. Although Doom 3 only supports 4 players, the ATEC 4 engine can be used with more players than this, with Quake 4 and Enemy Territory. Quake Wars both supporting significantly more players. Forks. Equals Iodoom 3 equals, Iodoom 3 is a game engine project which intends to take advantage of building on its software's id tech for source code release. A follow-up to Quake 3, the project was started shortly after the source code release with the goal of creating a bug-free, enhanced open source id tech for source code distribution upon which new games and projects can be based. Equals Dome 3 equals, Dome 3 is another game engine project of the ATEC 4 GPL source code. The goal of this engine is bring ATEC 4 with the help of SDL to all suitable platforms, and fix the bugs existing without altering the original gameplay. The main changes of Dome 3 compared with the original ATEC 4 engine are 64-bit port, SDL for low-level OS support, Open L for audio outputs including Open L EFX for EAX reverb effects and a portable build system based on Kmake. Equals a BDOOM3 BFG equals, a BDOOM3 BFG is a game engine project based upon the source code release of the Doom 3 BFG edition in 2012. Additional features include Linux and Windows 32-64-bit support, OS X support, 
Bink video support through FFMPEG, soft shadows using PCF hardware shadow mapping and modified shaders for lighting interaction to use half Lambert lighting like in Half-Life 2. Games using ID Tech 4. Compared to the preceding and widely used ID Tech 3 and ID Tech 2, ID Tech 4 has had less success in licensing to third parties. This is especially apparent in comparison to its closest contemporaries, Unreal Engine 2 and Unreal Engine 3 from Epic Games id Software was unwilling to license their newest engine before its parent game Doom 3 was completed. However the unexpected long development time going into Doom 3 from 2002-04 meant that they could not put up competition to Epic Games's Unreal Engine 2 during that period. Many who licensed Unreal Engine 2 were thus able to make the switch to Unreal Engine 3 more easily. While id Tech 4 had taken a new direction with its dynamic per pixel lighting, this unconventional feature had steeper hardware requirements and was initially only useful in spooky games, whereas an increasing number of developers preferred conventional engines that could render large outdoor areas. Also notable was id Tech 4's relative lack of downward scalability compared to competing FPS engines. It Tech 4 generally required a DirectX 8.0 compliant GPU such as a GeForce 3. The rival source engine could still run on the older widespread DirectX 7 GPUs. Equals games using a proprietary license equals, Doom 3 a Euro ID software, Doom 3, Resurrection of Evil a Euro Nerve software, Doom 3 BFG edition a Euro ID software, Quake 4 a Euro Raven software. Prey a Euro Human Head Studios, Enemy Territory, Quake Wars a Euro Splash Damage, Wolfenstein a Euro Raven Software, Bring a Euro Splash Damage. Equals games using an open source license equals, the dark mod began as effort to recreate Thief within Doom 3. It became a standalone game once the Doom 3 source code was released. Quadrilateral Cowboy a Euro Blendo games. See also. List of game engines, first person shooter engine, it tech 3, it tech 5. References. External links, official it tech 4 licensing page at the Wayback Machine, official IODOOM 3 website, official MOD support website for the it tech 4, the source of Doom. A six part series all about the Doom 3 source code, technical help forum, and custom content creation, it tech 4 reference material. It Tech 4's mod DB page containing mod listing, tutorials, and more, CNN, Life After Doom, GameSpy article from which some information on Mega Texture was derived, article detailing some features of It Tech 4, Doom 3 source code, Doom 3 source code.